In this tutorial, you're going to be um, we're going to be backing up and restoring a file in a Linux slash Unix um, system, basically. So we're on our Linux box here, our Linux client, basically. And so you remember from a couple of videos ago, it's a while ago, what we did was, in order for it to work for the comm serve, we had to set up a, um, a data pair. So basically, let me show you what that looks like here. So you click on, right click on computer properties, then you click on advanced. This is advanced here. Let's just make our screen a little bit easier to read. Then we go to job configuration, and then we're going to put in a data pair. And um, yeah, so let's just um, let's just simulate it again. Click on add, and the first computer is of course um, your client, right? And then the second computer is going to be the com serve. So we click next. And then, oh, you have the interfaces, so it's going to go by IP. So you then you click uh, next, next, and um, so the data pairs are in. So uh, we click finish, and it's already there, so we're good. Anyway, um, yeah, let's uh, click OK on that. So that's one thing that's been set up. If you ever needed to... Um, change your your host name I mean your client name rather or your host name um, client name is not a big deal if you want to choose that um, either or I forget which one it is but I know either or you can change one and it's fine you just can't change both of them and, and never change your com serve host name by the way because that's how it talks to it so don't change that one at least not here so Cancel. I'm not going to make any changes to that. So let's get started. Let's. Um, so we're, we're going to click on our default backup set. We're going to establish our storage policy. Right click on it. Click on properties. Okay. Uh, click on storage device. Devices. We're going to highlight the storage policy we want. In this case, it's data backup, or I mean, sorry, it's uh, backup. Uh, transfer options, again, we're going to turn off software compression, deduplication, we're going to leave that one off. And um, security, we're good there. We're not going to put anything in. Activity control, we're going to enable it, of course. Back to our uh, filters and actually content, really. So you can see there's some here already, right? So here's a trick I wanted to show you, right? If you can't ever connect to your com, if you can't ever connect to your your client, you know, you want to know, okay, can I connect to the client? I don't know if I can or not, right? So you click on browse. And if you can see files in there, that means a com serve can connect to the client 100%. Uh, necessarily, that may not mean it can back it up, but there's communication at least. Um, so that's the first step, really. That's how you establish, okay, I know an, another way, if you will, to establish, oh, okay, I know um, I'm able to connect to it. So, yeah. Um, so, in this case, we're going to just want to back up. Actually, let's just create something different. Let's go to our desktop. Um, Windows usually, Linux doesn't usually have a desktop, right? So, we're going to just create, see if we can create a file, actually. Don't know that we can create a file, but we're going to go to our op folder, or var rather, right? And we're going to back up, we're going to go to log, and we're just going to back up the Commvault uh, logs. Um, seems to be, you know, if they get deleted, whoop de doo right? So, um, yeah, here's all the logs in Commvault for this particular one. It's pretty large, sort of. 50, what is it, 1 meg, right? So that's where we're going to back up, actually, and we're going to delete it. So uh, var log Commvault, that's what we're going after. So um, I'll click OK. We've already have it, right? So we're good there. We don't need to do any of that. Um, let's see. So, yeah, that's it. So we were set up there to back up um, 
this this file. So let's click OK. And um, so here's at the actual Linux um, client, right? So you can see that um, I'm inside here. So I've logged in already. So if you're wanting to get to the var file, var log file, um, you would just type, let's see if you want to get out of this, see slash, cd slash, that's not right. Oh yeah, cd slash. Okay, then we're going to do um, cd slash um, var, var, right, log. And if you didn't know, you know, what was in there, you just type um, ll, I think, or ls, yeah, ls will work as well. LL puts it in line. So we know, okay, uh, var log file. So Commvault's in the log file. So we're going to go cd log. No, cd, let's go back one, dot, dot, I think. Yeah, so, oh, I went back too many. Let's back over. cd var slash var slash log log okay enter we want to see what that it's inside there so if we can scroll up a little bit we can see there's commvault perfect right there commvault okay so now we go to let's see cd commvault okay and you can tell all these different um log files in here actually there's only one really so we'll cd into that, log files, cd, log files, oh, so it's case sensitive, yeah, files, ooh, okay, tab, come on tab, okay, really, oh, it's not a directory, right, okay, yeah, oh, um, I should have S on there. My bad. CD log files. CD log files? It's not. It should be listed. Let's see. LL. Okay. Log files. Okay. What I had to do is I had to do without the slash portion. So I did CD just log files. That's really weird. Really weird. Oh, that's odd. Well, you learn something new every day. So anyway, here's our log files, right? So before I do anything, what I want to do is I'm going to create a file in here called um, backup, right? Backup.log. So in order to do that, we are going to do the command touch. Touch, touch, right? So we're going to call it backup uh, restore dot text. Yeah, uh, we're not going to do dot log. We're just going to do dot text. You know, why not? Let's do dot log. Why not? So touch backup and restore dot or backup restore log. Okay, good. So now let's see if that's there. So we'll go L L L, right? So let's see if we can't find it. It's gonna be case sensitive probably. Oh there it is right there. Backup and restore backup restore log. So so if we let's see if we can't add some information into it, right? So we'll go nano um backup back up back up restore dot log okay let's just add some data in here so uh, let's do full backup full backup full backup okay all right control X yes good Okay, all as well. So if we want to look at that, we would do cat. Cat? Yeah, cat. Cat uh, backup. Backup restore. Backup, if I can spell, restore dot log. Okay, let's see if we can't uh, view that. Cat? Well, we could actually try tail. Actually, probably let's see back up. Yeah, let's try tail instead. No. So it might be 
it might be actually um, tail slash then the log maybe like that no nope. so let's go back tail oh okay yeah so it's tail slash same thing with cat let's see if it's cat can't remember about slash yeah okay so cat and then slash or tail slash okay that's super cool okay cool let's go back to our so now we created the file let's go back up uh, to comserve and just create a, a full backup of it if you like this video and you want to see more please jump on to my course which is I have two courses one is at get a job in it.teachable.com and the other course is on Udemy it's learn backup and restore with Commvault get a high paying job you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel just type in Gary McNeely or Commvault Whisperer there's some good content there related to this if you would could you click on the subscribe button and click on notifications thank you very much